guys, it's me, Ingenierea. For today's video, I'm going to talk about being a safety officer. Most of you are asking the same question I asked before, such as, What is a safety officer? Who is qualified to become a safety officer? What are the requirements to be a DOLE accredited safety officer? In this video, I'll answer those questions and give you more ideas on how to become a safety officer. But first, I will going to share some background about myself. In October of last year, I graduated with a bachelor degree in civil engineering, not yet a licensed engineer. Last May 3 and 4, I was supposed to take our board exam, but due to the pandemic, our exam was cancelled. In May of last year, I had my training as a safety officer at Consafe Construction Safety Trainer and Consultant. And I'll share my ideas later with my experience in my training. First, I'll answer those questions I mentioned earlier. The first question is, what is a safety officer? A safety officer, also known as an occupational health and safety officer. Safety officer is a key professional in the work environment. The officer provides safety management, advice monitoring, and reporting in the workplace and engage your staff in programs that ensure safe practice in the workplace. The next question is, who is qualified to become a safety officer? To be a qualified safety officer, you don't need to have the highest degree. Even if you are an elementary, high school, and college graduate, you are still qualified. Everyone is qualified as a safety officer, but most safety officer jobs require a bachelor degree. I know that you are still confused about how do you become a safety officer. So here's the last question. What are the requirements to be a DOLE accredited safety officer? Look for a DOLE accredited training organization. There's a lot of different training organizations, but here are the training organizations I can recommend to you. Consafe Construction Safety Trainer and Consultant JGT Training Center Philippine Security and Safety Professional Practitioners Association Incorporation. For more on the details regarding the list of accredited occupational safety and health training organizations, you can check the link in the description below. Next is, you must have completed the Bureau Prescribed 40-hour Occupational Safety and Health Training course from DOLE accredited or recognized organizations. I had my training at Concept Construction Safety Trainer and Consultant. For those asking how much does it cost, my training fee for Kosh and Bosch costs 11000 It also includes a training manual, training certificate, ID, polo shirt, free snacks, and lunch. And here are the two training I attended last year, Kosh and Bosch. Let's first tackle Kosh. Kosh is Construction Occupational Safety and Health, the word from itself. It's more on construction. This training aims to equip participants with the basic knowledge and skills in performing safety audits, assessments, and analysis of hazard and risk in the construction industry, determining appropriate control measure, and developing and implementing occupational safety and health policies and programs. While the Bosch is basic occupational safety and health, Bosch is more on general industries like manufacturing, school, hospital, retail, and services, oil and gases, security, and many more, except for the maritime industry. It aims to equip participants with the basic knowledge and skills in identifying safety, health, and environmental hazards, determining appropriate control measures, and developing and implementing occupational safety and health policies and programs. At the end of the training, you must have the training certificate and training manual. In just four days, you are now a certified safety officer. I know that some of you are asking my experience before, during, after the training. So here it is. Before my training, I was hesitant to take this course because I was so nervous if I can finish this. But still, I pushed this training because I want to be a safety officer and I want to be more knowledgeable when it comes to safety.
During my training, actually on the first day of our training, you need to introduce yourself as I observe all of my co-trainee had work already and I'm the only one who's still a student. I got a little bit nervous because most of them are had an idea about training, but as the day passes by, I feel more comfortable with my co-trainee. On the second day of training, we had a group activity such as job hazard analysis and how to prepare a toolbox meeting. The job hazard analysis tool is used to identify how to perform tasks step by step, any hazard associated with the task, and control to mitigate the hazards. For more details regarding the activity during my training, I will feature here soon on my YouTube channel. Just stay tuned for more videos. I want to share it to you guys that I bought an occupational safety and health standard book or they call this a yellow book. This book serves your guidance for the rules, labor codes, standards, and methods. This book costs 250 pesos only. A soft copy of this book can be downloaded here at www.occupationalsafetyhealthcenter.dole.gov.ph On the last day of my training, we had an exam regarding the safety officer lessons. After the exam, the staff gave us the training manual, training certificate, ID, and safety officer shirt. In just 4 days, I become a certified safety officer. That's it guys. I hope you guys learn more about being a safety officer. If you have any questions about being a safety officer, just comment down below and I'll try my best to answer it. Thank you for watching it. Bye!